So it's a beautiful evening here in Southern California. And just cleaning up the garage, I wanted to make a video of this workbench that I just built. Got it all done. I actually used a brand new elevator door for the top. It's kind of like my hobby table, slash when I work on my RC airplanes and whatever I got going on. It's kind of a little bit of everything on there. Um, built it out of the elevator door for the stainless top. I used some Snap-on Epic Series uh, toolbox trim to match my Epic toolbox at home. And basically, restored a 1949 C2 Wilton Vice. Put new jaws on it. Uh, had the old spindle cut off because it was bent and tweaked. Had um, WiltonViceParts.net. I believe his name was Kevin. Uh, Build me a new spindle, three quarters inch thick, a little thicker, and one inch longer. Put a new horseshoe on it that's machined, and new locking spindles, and even a new cap that I polished. It's all powder coated in a bronze metallic. Looks really nice in the light. Can't really see it on the video, but it's pretty bitching. I got some other jaws custom machined for it also, right over here. Some jaw caps, three different ones, and Three or four different types of jaws, plastic, aluminum, and flat steel. Just in case I need to do something weird, but this all just got done. It's pretty much brand new. I mean, works like a brand new vice anyway, so she's awesome. Glad I got it all done. Back to the table, put a little snap on S right on top of the uh, polished aluminum uh, diamond plate wrapped around the whole thing. This here is my parts washer. Got it from uh, Granger, but uh, the table table probably weighs about a thousand pounds. It's made out of a three-inch box tubing, one eighth of an inch thick. The top has a serious heavy-duty reinforced um, plate on it. Um, the vise is actually mounted onto a quarter inch of steel underneath the elevator door, so it's really decent. I put this little yoga mat on top of it, and. A lot of people are probably eyeballing this thing right here. I'll go around the other side so you guys can see it. I'm gonna use it. So, need an electrical outlet. Didn't want to do anything silly, so I got this bad boy. It's a USB charger, two electrical outlets with an MP3 player. And it charges your phone on the top when you place it on there. And when you're done, you just Hit the button, it goes away. A little over the top, but I like it. And some of you guys are probably looking ahead right over there and saying, what the hell is that? A lot of people hit me up on it, or, you know, what the part number is from Snap-on or whatever. Well, bad news, guys. You can't buy it. I made it. I had a spare hutch after I uh, replaced my uh, top hutch with a top chest. I needed more room for tools, so I kept the hutch. And I was like, shit, you know what? One day I'll make a table. My snap-on uh, rep was pretty cool. He got me a, a free drawer, a 60-inch top drawer. So I got some bearings for it, and voila. And then I had a locker docker cart. I made a little garage for it. And I diamond plated it, of course, and used the Epic trim to match. You can see how it matches pretty good. It's got the stainless top on it as well. My little mugs, my little other MP3 player, my little toolbox, and all my little ratchet, ratcheting screwdrivers I've collected through the years. And then I got my other big KRA MP3 uh, Bluetooth, uh, whatever you call it, uh, stereo sound system. And I got the hutch on there, hutch on there pretty good. I'll shut it, put a nice little snap on decal on it, works good. But I kind of like this idea because I was like, hey, I got a nice little workbench. But realistically, you can't use that as a workbench. That's a fucking workbench. <laughs> um, it has uh, casters on there that are 2,000 pounds each. So it can hold up to 8,000 pounds. They're not on the casters right now. They're on the legs. The legs hold 16,000 pounds each. So heavy duty. So if you need to move it around, you drop it on the casters. And then once you get on the unlevel surface, you can level it. On the inside, 
We got like a little shelf system going on here. I got all my RC off-road racing stuff that I use, all my tire bags and stuff. But you can see it's got plenty of storage room. You can see the bottom of that outlet thing right over there. Came out pretty dope. The legs. I got a drawer right over here that I'm going to install on the bottom of it. So I've got the bearings for it. Just got to go pick up some metal so I can uh, weld it to the uh, bottom of the table and I'll have a good 40 inch drawer. This is my work surface that I had before on this chancy little counter. Not the greatest, but anyway, thought I'd share it with you guys. Also got a TV mount on that hutch. And that's my race toolbox when we go to racetrack. Either when we're competing or doing track days or whatever. Uh, several of the tools that go in there go in this box. Gets loaded up in my trailer. And adios, we're off to the track. So that's kind of pretty much my garage. Thought I'd share it with you guys. I really love this Wilton Vice, man. I'm so glad I got it all pimped out. I mean, it's going to get some work eventually. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll use it every now and then. But uh, it's a little overkill for the house. I kind of just... My dad always liked a good workbench and a good vice. So I was like, fuck it, let's do it. Well, there it is. Let me know what you guys think. Post the video and put it on YouTube and post it on some of the Facebook pages. Um, if you guys are interested, that's my Ducati Super Ligera. Used to be my race bike. I turned it back to street. Won a championship in the West Coast on it. A couple destroyed helmets up there, a couple destroyed wheels up there. And then this is my little Street Fighter, my little Ducati Monster. A couple of my RC airplanes. That's it. Clean up. Just waiting for some caps from Snap-on for the ends of these things. They go on top of your toolbox, little plastic cap things. Those are like a, an afterthought. I countersunk some screws on it. Nice stainless screws, screws, try to make it look nice. She's pretty, but I don't mind banging her up. <laughs> Take care, guys. We'll see you.